Good evening ladies and gents, Alien Sweet Potato here, and today we're going to talk about tree farms from Ancient Warfare 2. They're very handy and they're very simple. To craft them, you're going to need to have researched uh, invention, agriculture, and farming, and that's going to give you the tree farm. That's exactly what it's called. To craft it, you're going to need to go to your engineering station or your uh, crafting station that's attached to your warehouse, put your book in the slot, and it takes an iron axe, two gears, a chest, and five planks. That makes one tree farm. You see here I already have two set up. In this one I've got apple trees because that gives me both oak wood and apples. And over here I've got mine factory reloaded rubber trees which give me both rubber and jungle wood. So we're gonna set up another one. The base size for the tree farm, like all the other farms and pretty much all the buildings in Ancient Warfare 2, is 5x5. Five five. It does take upgrade tokens that upgrade it to 9x9 nine nine, and the next one is 16x16. Sixteen sixteen. You may want to take the upgrade sizes into consideration when placing your farms. You can move them, but the only way to pick up the block is with a pickaxe. Anything else will break it completely but it's just handy if you take the upgrades into consideration first. In order to automate your tree farm, you're gonna need a lumberjack. We have ours right here, his name's Jack. Uh, <laughs> and uh, all you need is a worker NPC and give him a hatchet, an ax. That makes him a lumberjack. So we're gonna place our new tree farm right back here. I'm gonna go back a little ways to give it some space, place it right like that, and it pops up the boundary. Go ahead and right click on it. That brings up the interface. You're gonna put your saplings in the resources, and if you uh, want to use bone meal to make them grow faster, you'd put that in the special resources, and when your lumberjack harvests any uh, wood or anything else that your trees are going to be giving you, it'll go in the top. And there are actually ways to automate these to export to chests or even directly to a warehouse, and I'll cover that in another tutorial. That's it. That's all you need to do. It's going to start planting the saplings on its own, and your lumberjack will harvest them and apply the bone meal for you. And it's as simple as that. As always, this has been Alien Sweet Potato with another To The Point tutorial. If you found this helpful and you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to like and subscribe. Happy adventuring!